असलम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सी डी इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम नाइन जीरो फोर ऑफ द कंपाइन स्ट्रेस टॉपिक सो द क्वेश्चन इज टू अवॉइड इंटरफेयरिंग अ लिंक इन मशीन इज डिजाइन सो दैट इट्स क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज रिड्यूस वन हाफ इट सेक्शन ए वी इज स्ट्रॉन इफ द थिकनेस ऑफ द लिंक इज फिफ्टी एम एम कंप्यूट द मैगजिम फोर्स दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड If the maximum normal stress on section A B is limited to eighty megapascal, so dear students, we have a link here, and it's uh, here at the section A B. Its cross section area is reduced to half. Here, its uh, this distance will also reduce to forty instead of eighty, and the thickness will remain same. So the question is to compute the force at section A B. If the normal stress on section A B is limited to eighty megapascal, so let's start the solution. So the solution is first we have to draw the free body diagram of this whole length, and then we will calculate the geometric properties. Okay, so here the forces are applied at the at the end of this link and when we here apply a cut at section ab so i have drawn here this left portion of the link and here this part is shown here in the three dimensional 3d so here the tensile forces are applied at the end and when we apply a cut here this force will be applied over here okay or we can also say that if for example i have draw this part for you if we can say that this force is applied along this line of friction so we can also say that the force is applied over this part so here the centroid of this cross section area section ab will be here so we have to shift this force to this uh, cross section area so whenever we move a force from one location to another it is uh, compounded by a couple uh, as we have studied in mechanics uh, how to resolve force into couple uh, and couple into force so when we move this force to this location here will be uh, this draw these two forces in equal and opposite direction so here these two forces will generate a couple these two forces will generate a clockwise couple so its diagram will be like this at this section when we locate when we locate or change the position of the uh, load from uh, top to the mid it will be accompanied by a couple which couple so rotate the finger in the fourth direction this one so it's clockwise couple so here it will be compared by couple similarly here i have drawn this couple and this uh, will be about z uh, direct about z axis we can also assume it another way uh, when we apply a cut here this force is applied or Uh, the centroid or the mid of this section, and when we look over these two forces, this F uh, P is applied or this line of action, and this here the P is applied or the centroid axis of this uh, section A B. So here the line of action of these two forces are not same. So these two forces will generate a counterclockwise couple here. it will generate a counter clockwise couple so to balance this counter clockwise couple we have applied we have to apply here the clockwise couple so to keep in equilibrium okay these two forces uh, generate a anti clockwise couple so to balance this we have to put here the clockwise moment uh, so here the Three dimensional view of this area is shown here. Its thickness is fifty millimeter and its uh, height is forty millimeter. Here, the 
force which applied over the centroid is the tensile force which is shown away from the cross section area and what about the movement about uh, the z-axis it will be positive bending moment or negative bending moment so just uh, rotate fingers uh, like this way your thumb will show the direction of the movement so it's about the negative z-axis so here this movement is negative bending moment or we can also say that the arrow which uh, the arrow of this movement shows the compression the side on which the arrow is it those side will be compression so those moment on which the bottom is compression and top is tension it's negative bending moment we have already discussed these things in uh, shear force and bending moment diagram in ms1 so we will also revise those concepts so now let's come towards the solution we have to apply the equilibrium conditions we have balanced this body then uh, px force along the horizontal direction will be p and its uh, sign will be positive because it's tensile force here the movement about the uh, z uh, axis will be uh, minus p into 20 okay minus p into 20 here this movement will be p into 20 because here this interest is 20 mm i have told you guys here then when we uh, shift a force from this location to the center so we have to apply it with this movement so this movement is 20 mm and force is p so it will become p multiplied 20 and movement will be negative because it's negative bending moment so it becomes minus 20 p hope you get this point uh, area here is uh, of course base into height so here base is 50 and height is 40 area will be 2000 uh, mm square so here the moment of inertia about the z axis why we have to find moment of inertia about z axis why not about y axis z axis because here the movement is about z axis that's why here we don't have the moment about y so this uh, factor will become zero so moment about z axis its uh, basis 50 height will be 40 bs cube by 12 when we uh, calculate this its area will be we will have this value 266 six six seven uh, mm to power four then we have to write the combined stress equation put the values of the forces and the movement as well as the area and the moment of inertia values so force here px is equal to b we have plus p then area is 2000 plus into here we have two minus signs the first minus sign is with the formula and the second negative sign is of the bending moment because it's negative bending moment here put the value of moment of inertia which we have found earlier and uh, here it will be y then this term will become zero uh, up till now we don't have to put the value of y because we have to find the fiber stress equation in which we find the normal stresses at any fiber across the cross-sectional area uh, divide this 1 over 2020 divided by this value and simplify the equation uh, I have done it here here this will become our final fiber stress equation so in order to locate the neutral axis that where will be our neutral axis take this equation equals to 0 and find the value of y uh, it will tell us that how much the neutral axis have shifted so when we take this value equal to 0 multiply this uh, with these values and here find the value of y shift this value to the right side of the equation and then divide by this value like I have done here uh, here the y value will be minus 6.67 millimeter so it sh the, uh, shows that the neutral axis has shifted downward the minus uh, sign shows that neutral axis have 
shift it downward so in order to find the uh, force in the cross section area first we have to find the stresses for it in in the top and the bottom and those stresses value we will compare those stresses value with the limiting value and from those uh, and from those value we will find the value of the force the maximum force so here uh, for the stresses in the top and bottom we have to locate that where the uh, stresses are maximum so we will take uh, such value and we'll compare it with the, the limiting value of the uh, stresses in that section so we have to find stresses at the top fiber uh, top of the fiber so how uh, its y distance will be its total height is 40 so from the neutral uh, axis to the top its distance will be 40 by 2 it will be plus 20 and to the bottom it will be minus 20 so so in these equations uh, at the top uh, put plus 20 value and to find the stress at bottom here put the minus 20 value and just uh, calculate this uh, equation through the calculator we will get these values uh, plus 0 0.002 and minus 0 0.001 so here the maximum stress is at the top of the fiber and such stresses are the tensile stresses because its value is positive such stresses are the tensile stresses so here we have the maximum value of stress is this much uh, then compare this value with the limiting value of the stresses that we have been given in the question so here it will become 0 0.002 P is equal to 80 megapascal and from this value calculate the value of P it will come out as 40,000 Newton and when we divide it by 1000 it will become uh, its value will come out as kilo Newton so it will become 40 kilo Newton the top fiber will have high stresses if we apply the value of uh, 4 kilo Newton the stresses will be in the limit of 80 megapascal but if we increase the value of uh, force beyond this uh, 40 kilo newton uh, the stresses will exceed its limit the, that is 80 megapascal it will it will exceed its limit and uh, failure will occur it will be design failure so dear student this was our question hope you have learned the question and the concepts that have been given here dear students uh, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon in order to get the notification about the latest problem video that we have been uploading up till now it's enough inshallah we will meet in the next video thanks for watching